All right, Caleb, what game are we playing today? Secret code 13 plus 4. You mean 17? That works too. <laughs> Secret code 13 plus 4, do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? What's it all about? It's about rolling dice and deactivating lasers. Oh, lasers. I'm in. I'm in. Well, let's see all these lasers. Cool, you've got them all over the board. But they don't look like they're stable. Show me what those numbers look like on the other side. Ooh, so they're just randomly put out there. Nice. And what are you trying to do with those lasers? You are trying to deactivate them and walk right over them. All right, so here's your pieces, your guys running around trying to get to the center room. Sweet, well why don't you show me a turn and how it goes. All right. So, let's say I was green and the first number is eight. Okay. So I would roll my dice. I would try to get eight. And how do you how do you do it? On this one, I actually rolled an eight. Okay. So I can just set that aside and you go use over it. That dice to get over that laser, nice. Yes. Now what? Now I need to get over two. And how can you use the dice to get those numbers? I use six minus four. So anytime, so that's a subtraction. Yes. So you can use subtraction. What else could you use? Um. And just use normal numbers. Wow, you're getting over some you're getting yes, over some easy numbers that there. Was that was quite the good easy. roll because you're six minus four. And then another Sweet. person would go and say, Oh, yay, I rolled an eight. Now how is he gonna say, get to a two? Um five divided by five is one. Yeah. And 1 plus 1 equals 2. Yeah, what about 7 minus 5 though? That also works. Because there are less dice. Yes, actually... sometimes you're like, oh yeah, it's this. But when you really need to look for a simpler solution. Okay, so you can add, you can so, subtract. Yes, you so can multiply. you can do that. And then. Yeah. You can go either way down that path, right? Yes. And then less number the dice just don't get used. Yeah. So you're moving along now. Show me as you get to some of those tougher numbers, like a 15 and 19. Say you're green again. Go ahead and roll. Okay. you got to get over a 15 and a 19. 15. Let's see if you can do it. Okay. So... Wait. I'm trying to think. You're trying to calculate. Why are you thinking so hard? Because you've got a 15 right there. 7 plus Seven 6 plus, plus 2. Six plus so what two. else are you thinking about? I'm thinking if I could do another way, then Why? I'd maybe be able to get over 19. Ah, so you I can't get over 19 with these. Calculate a little bit more. Oh, wow. hmm. Well, what about a 7 times 2 gives you 14 plus 1? That gives you 15. Yes, and then I have those. And a... 6 times 4 gets you to 24, minus, minus 6, six it gets to an gets 18. An 18, not 19. Ooh, so... They're all even numbers, so nice. it's like impossible. Now you need like an odd it. number in there. So it looks like you can get over the 15 and go on your merry way. But So yes. how do you know when someone wins? How do you win? So, say... You just go like that throughout the board. Yes. Okay. Say it was Green's turn when they rolled, and they said, okay... I need to calculate and get a five, so I'll do that to get a five. Get your three plus two. Mm-hmm. And now you need to get into the last room. You need twenty. Do yes. you get anything for a twenty there? I'm thinking again. I bet you. Yes, can I can. Yeah. What is it? Four times four. Yeah. Plus four. Four times four plus four. Bing, bing, bing! You're in the room. And then everyone goes until a whole round is passed. If someone gets in, then you see how many dice are left over. That's how we do it if there's a tie, because a lot of times it's been a tie, huh? Tie. Yes. People get in on the same round. Yes. Cool. And then we play again, huh? Yeah. Or we say we, who did it in the fewest dice on the last turn. And... Yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. There's also alternate rules. Ooh, what do you do for the alternate? Say I'm green again, and I say, okay, I rolled an eight. Hop over, it flips. Oh, so and every time you cross, cross a, barrier, a barrier, you flip, flip it, flip so the it. people behind are going to do something different. Yes. That's cool. All right. So, 
Who would you think Secret Code 13 plus 4 is best suited for? I would say that it was best suited for 4th or 5th graders through any ages really. Okay. Because yeah, you're, learning, you're learning, learning to multiply math. in 3rd grade and or 4th grade. once you know all that, then you can just add. Nice. And it's a nice thing to do. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what would you rate? Secret code 13 plus 4. I would rate it a 4.13. And I imagine that's because you've got a 4, a four and a 1 and a 3 in there. <laughs> and I can't do 13.4. No, because we only got a 5. 5, yeah. Alright, thanks Caleb.